Yeah, great that we, um, you know, really, they had 22 points in the first quarter, so really put our stamp on the game early, and uh, then we were able to, you know, use our rotations and depth to uh, extend some leads a little bit, but uh, first quarter, 32-22 to 22 was the start of the game, and we wanted to come out with a, the right mindset, which we did. Steve, with permission that during the pregame, how you're able to use your various rotations and how you're always successful, what have you seen about the certain different lineups that had, that had a lot of guys to, to stand? Yeah, we try to use it to our advantage. Uh, just even in that second quarter of being able to have Kai and uh, Yuta out there at the same time. Uh, the end of the first where you have Yuta and Kevin out there at the same time. So the opposing coach, you got to see if he's going to stay big. Is he going to go small? Is he going to change his lineup? Uh, gives us some flexibility, especially we can play Ben without Ben, Ben and Nick, Nick by himself, uh, which we did to start the fourth quarter. So uh, the flexibility we've been able to use to our advantage for sure. Thank you. Digging back in on the mindset, I mean, this was, you know, when you look at the guys that are missing from this team, it's New Year's Eve, end of a road trip. I mean, this very easily could have been a game where guys' focus was somewhat less than 100%. Uh, how encouraging is it from your point of view just that the guys were dialed in and pretty much stayed dialed in? They didn't let it get down to two or four or some kind of dramatic thing. It, it really does uh, show some signs of growth from our team. I, I think, you know, we were pretty much locked in at the beginning of the game. We talked about finishing the year out strong and uh, guys we're ready to play. And uh, I think it does, Brian, show some growth from our team. Just the accountability piece from each other, whether it's uh, different plays throughout the course of the game that they're talking amongst each other, looking at the iPad together, figuring some things out. So we've come a long ways and uh, to finish the year off strong with a team who could easily put points on the board uh, with the, the lineup that they had out there. So uh, good effort by our guys for sure. Sir, why do you think that shift has been so dramatic from the start of the year? It helps that you win games, to be honest, and that's a big part of it. Uh, evidence in the way we've been able to cover for each other, I'll continue to say that. That's huge for our group. Um, our ability to take criticism and continue to move on has really grown as a group amongst each other, from the coach, from the coaching staff, uh, with the sake of, you know, we're going to get it figured out at the end of the day. Um, so that part has been huge for our group. And I think guys being healthy has been a piece of that thing. But when we are missing guys, understanding that there are no excuses. Uh, so whether or not we went into the game saying is Ed or Ben going to play, there was no hesitation of, all right, we're just going to change our lineup and off we go. Good thing those dudes played, which was great. Uh, but Patty was ready. Keith was ready. Uh, Dayron was ready. Cam was ready. So that piece of it, of knowing that you have a responsibility to your teammate, has definitely grown. On that, I mean, you talked about it hard. It was good that Ben played, but considering how much time he missed last year, and then he was obviously out again earlier this year. Uh, for Ben to not be clearly not 100%, I mean, he said I felt like. Uh, how much does that mean to the guys in there? That he clearly wasn't, you know, feeling himself, yep. but he still gutted it out. It, it is, uh, I think it's a huge sign for your teammates, of showing up for your teammates, being ready to rumble. You're not going to be 100% all the time. Uh, you know, Ed, like yesterday, Ed didn't finish the shoot-around or whatever we want to call it we had because he just wasn't feeling like himself kind of thing. And for him to go through treatment, for Ben to go through treatment and work their way to trying to play today uh, means a lot to the group. Uh, I think it goes a long ways uh, as far as accountability to your teammate. Uh, so it definitely means something for sure. What did you see from Utah, his capability to the defensive side of Fortnite? He's doing a little bit of everything. Um, you see the ability for guys to get the ball to him and him shoot the basketball, which we have total confidence in him. And now he's getting his hands on balls, whether that's being in the paint and plugging the paint, coming back and tipping balls, almost saved the ball, which I thought was a save make. But uh, being around the basketball and being in good position and uh, great drive to the rim, which was aggressive. So he's growing as a basketball player. I think he's getting more comfortable uh, knowing kind of when he's going to get into the game and who he's going to play with. So I think that's helped him as well. Staff and your coaching staff meant and how they helped during this like, streak. 
Yeah, a lot of credit uh, to the staff. Unbelievable. Uh, the energy uh, that they bring every single day, the care factor that they bring every single day, uh, being there for the guys, uh, whether it's off days, recovery days, you know, sometimes those are labeled uh, for the players. And a lot of times uh, the coaching staff is readily available. The staff has been unbelievable. Performance staff, the group around our players have really taken another level and step of care, uh, which is important. It's a long season, and uh, we're around each other a lot. We've tried to manage uh, our time away to give people you know, some time to, to go and be by themselves, but when we're together, we enjoy each other, and that's, I think that's huge for a group. The only time they seem to challenge you, they cut with six, you called time out early in the third quarter, and y'all really responded to that. Was any message or just go back to what we've been doing? Or? No, it was really let's buckle down on uh, getting back to what got us here. Uh, and a piece of that was the transition defense. We got a couple layups in transition. We didn't get back set. And then being up on LaMelo's threes, so we were able to hone back in, which is a great sign that we didn't let that carry over to the rest of the quarter. We answered the, answered the, um, the bell pretty quickly. All right, guys. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's go.